You are now watching Reading Your Comments with the Game Peeps, brought to you by Christopher, Christopher Marlowe. And our first comment is from Zach Johnson. And he says, So nice we can play arcade games now without spending countless dollars to play. Also, on second level, there was a second path. Fuck you, Zach. <laughs> Like, oh, we know some fuckers <laughs> and some fucker did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See, this is why we can't go nice places, have nice things, all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know what I said. I don't actually know exactly verbatim what I said at the end of that, but I do. I do remember being like some asshole. <laughs> I, so, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. The, and the, the other, I re-editing it. Did you find it? Oh, it is so. It's it's right there. It's like right there. It's so obvious, it hurts. We'll have to play it again just because I want to see it. Because, you know, you're concentrating so hard that you don't see you things that are right in You can almost see it right in the, like, thumbnail. Almost, almost. Really? Yeah. Wait, for the, yeah, okay. Um, you're talking about this thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, that path does not look easy. It looks actually harder than... No, it's, it's really easy. There's a black ball there. Mm -hmm. And other than that, it's like, you just had to go straight down instead of taking the path, and then it was like a hole. It was- No, no, I'm talking about this part of it, though. Oh, like, yeah, Like, once that you get looks... down there, that looks treacherous. It looks a little bit, but I don't know, it might save me some time. We, we'd have to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's some marble master out there who's just like, oh, Child's play! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. so, thank you. Our next comment is from 475th Varen Wolf, and this is on The Sims 2 saying, at 12.30, the... it's not like in the day, this is like... Timestamp 12.30. <laughs> I too like to live dangerously with recording. Also, shout out to the man who won't die. So, yeah, yeah, recording with the wrong hard drive, good times. Oh man. So many I'm, things. Just, I'm just surprised it didn't like crap out the way it did with Godfather. Yeah, that entire court session was just a series of just like, oh god, <laughs> like why? <laughs> the hard drive itself, because it was new, kept ejecting. Yeah, just randomly. It was very not happy. Yep. Um, shit just kept hitting the fan. And then to end it all off, you have to see our next Sims one that's coming out after this to see. The glory that is how yeah. that ended. That, yeah. And <laughs> oh my god. Zenka says, stabs, blood everywhere. That is a thing of beauty. Ha ha ha, nice. <laughs> Interesting enough. I just watched the first Pirates movie again the other day. Haven't seen it in years and it was on Netflix, so why not? I think we had watched it. I, yeah, I don't remember if we had actually watched it at this point when we started talking about it. Or if we were going, like, it was on, it's been on our list forever. Yeah. And I have a copy of it, but no, it's in we, a box somewhere. We, all, we both have copies yeah, of it. Yeah, but it, it, it ended up being one of those things where we saw it on Netflix and went, let's just watch it! Yeah. But the thing about Netflix is, they don't have the blooper reels. Yeah, that's true. They it's don't have all so that extra stuff. Yeah, it's nice to have the movie, but... I would always rather buy it because I wanted that extra stuff. And then yeah. they stopped doing the extra stuff. Yeah, that's one of those things these days where it's like, why did you stop putting the extras in? That was the whole point of buying the DVD. Yeah. But I guess now they're like, well, then you should pay more and buy the Blu-ray yeah. because that's it's better than the DVD. They and put the everything on than VHS. Yeah. So. yeah. Which is like... Fine, okay, put everything on Blu-ray, but put some things on DVD. It's still yeah. costing quite a bit of money. Yeah, because like nowadays, it's like, oh, so you have the movie, you have your French, you have your English, you have your Spanish. Enjoy! You should be happy, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's so, oh, it's so upsetting. I remember the first time that happened to me, Blue Ray was still pretty new, but I got, I think it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I think it was that one. Yeah. Popped it into the DVD player. I was ready for those extras, and there was nothing. It was just language selection. I was just like, what the fuck did I pay for? <laughs> I was so furious. <laughs> Also, I personally just like having a physical copy yeah, in me case too. something just happens to the digital. Both, right? Because it can having corrupt both. so easily yeah. that it's just like, well, I mean, you have That's your receipt why... here, but but do you have actual proof? Video games. Like, it makes me so nervous that video games are going that way, too. Oh, yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. What if all my cloud-based data disappears one day and then I have no way of, like, that freaks me the hell That's out. That's why <laughs> whenever I get a game on PC, if I can, and like, if I really like the game and I see that they have a, D in, like, a CD version, if I have the money, I am buying a CD version. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me too. For, for PlayStation, for anything, I want hard copy. Okay, next up we have a comment from Zach Johnson. He says, your boss got shot in the leg and he calls himself a Jedi Master. Well, okay, so here's the situation. Everyone looks the freaking same, uh, like all the human Jedis, like male human Jedis, for whatever reason, all have the exact same skin tone, hair color, and haircut. How is it that I could tell them apart right away, though? <laughs> <laughs> so, the guy who was technically my boss first was actually a much younger guy who got shot in the leg. Mm -hmm. I don't- I, he might- he probably- is he- I don't know I that he's a Jedi Master, I think he's a yeah. Jedi. I think he was in charge of your training, possibly. Yeah, yeah but he's not- He is your superior, but he's not- the superior. Yeah, he's not a Jedi master. Um, the guy, the older gentleman who came in, Orgus, mm. uh, when we were in the cave, is my master now, and he is a Jedi master, and he wasn't shot in the leg. It's interesting. <laughs> and he wasn't shot in the leg. <laughs> I was gonna say that it's interesting that you didn't get to meet your your master right right away. Yeah, because I feel like Lalve did, but we don't know because the recording died horribly in, in flaming death, sadness. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Our next comment is from Zanka. He says, Agreed. Those blades are sweet. Yeah, they are. When he was like, should I be a dark Jedi? I was like, hell yeah! <laughs> LOL. Damn, you're too weak for the order. That guy talking mad smack can totally relate with the somewhat twisted good person thing. LOL, LOL. <laughs> Says score makes the world go round. Anyway, or anyhow, nice new series. Good stuff. So, thank you. And yeah, Cassandra was also like, yes. <laughs> so, Zenka also said that he finds uh, Sith. Uh, more three-dimensional than the Jedi. And being a dark Jedi is basically right where the third dimension starts breaking out. Where things aren't just black and white anymore and you get the grays. This is why I find villains tend to be more interesting characters in general. Not always. I think uh, what Marvel's doing is very good. They made the heroes interesting. Just as yeah. interesting as the villains. They made but, them real people. They, yeah, they made them three-dimensional. But that's the problem with a lot of, throughout <laughs> my viewing experience, a lot of heroes versus villains, I tend to root for the villains because the villains are, are fun. Yeah, they're fun, they're interesting, they have personality. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of times, depending on the villain, what they're trying to do isn't coming from a dark place. Usually it's yeah. with some kind of intention. And it's just yeah, they're out, trying like, to be do the right thing, but maybe not go the right way about it. Yeah, yeah. So it's just really interesting. And now I feel like things have come around where it's like heroes are trying to stay on the right path, but are having a harder time with that instead of just being like always knowing what to do. Yeah, which is making them more interesting too. Well, it's making them more three dimensional. Three dimensional. Ooh. <laughs> now in three. <laughs> like it's coming right at you! <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So thanks for that, Zanka. <laughs> All right, and last up, we have another comment from Zanka, and he says, I imagine it would be really difficult to tell. I'm sure they're different, but the predominant marshmallow flavor kind of takes over once you get past the coating. The thing about these marshmallows, it's not a coating. No, it doesn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like it, the taste goes all the way through it. Like it's in there, but it. <laughs> you can smell it more than taste it. It's a very, like, the problem is it's so light that the actual, like, I guess natural ingredients, the original ingredient flavors, almost override the flavoring they try they to definitely, put in. I feel like they use, like, those essence things, but, like, they dilute it by a million. Yeah, you know, like the coconut yeah, yeah, yeah. essence or whatever. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> Anywho, that's, uh... That's been reading your comments with the game peeps. So until next time, go play. Bye! Do you think that's, the, would that be a hobby, eating tomatoes? I, I don't know, maybe he doesn't actually eat. <laughs> Things happen. Knife slip in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, that's Oops. true. That's true. Cannibalism. That's another thing. The character designs. Now, not so much, but before, yeah. evil guys. Always, always look badass. So, they always look so cool, and then the good guys are just kind of lame. 